Welcome back to Slipstream's Clean Energy Careers video series. The state of Wisconsin, along with many cities, counties, businesses, and utilities are charting a pathway to 100% carbon-free electricity by 2050. The transportation sector makes up about 38% of the total greenhouse gas emissions in the state of Wisconsin. Emissions from vehicles contribute to approximately one-third of all U.S. air pollution. The City of Madison has pledged to use 100% renewable energy and achieve zero net carbon emissions for all city operations by 2030. But how will they get there? Part of the solution? Electric vehicles. Today we are talking with staff from the Madison Fleet Department about how they're converting as many of their vehicles as possible to electric and alternative fuels. My name is Mahant Joyshi and I'm the superintendent for the City of Madison Fleet Service Department. My name is Olivia Buzalaki. I work for the City of Madison and I'm a youth apprentice with Fleet Service. So my job entails leading a group of 40 people, mostly mechanics, parts technicians, and administrators who take care of uh, the vehicle and equipment needs for the City of Madison. We are responsible for purchasing and maintaining 1,400 vehicles. That includes fire trucks, garbage trucks, ambulances, plow trucks, a lot of things that you'll see out there in the community. And we're responsible for supporting those frontline departments with their vehicles and equipment and keeping them in working order. And our ambitious plan by 2030 is to convert all of that possible into electric. That includes all the light duty and medium duty vehicles that can be electrified. That includes pickup trucks, vans, sedans, SUVs, ambulances, things like that. We have 70 electric vehicles in our fleet now. That includes uh, Teslas, Nissan Leafs, it includes Chevy Bolts. We are also ordering Ford Mustang Mach-E's for our police department. We also have the one and only electric full-size fire truck in North America that's made by Pierce Manufacturing right here in Wisconsin. And that's operating with our firefighters right now and responding to real scenes every day. And everything heavy duty, that's the bigger trucks, we're hoping to convert to 100% biodiesel. We'd like to do all of this by 2030. Uh, that would make us the cleanest fleet in North America, and that's what our ambitious goal is. Tell us about your career path. I went to college, Georgetown, Washington, DC, and I was recruited by New York City Parks. That was back in 2001, so I've been in city government for 21 years, doing city government operations, which includes vehicle and fleet maintenance and acquisitions. So the apprenticeship is a really cool program. You go and you work with the, all the techs in the shop and they teach you what they're doing and you get the experience to do it hands-on while someone's supervising you. Describe a day on the job. So a typical day at our headquarters includes vehicles coming in and out all day to be worked on. We have, we have 1,400 vehicles we're responsible for, so you'll see probably 100 vehicles coming in and out of our shops in a given day. We look at the schedule to see if we have regular vehicles, electric vehicles, hybrid vehicles, and we take them in in order of priority. If there are hybrids or regulars, we're often doing oil changes. Um, electric vehicles would have to do more with just changing tires. That's the typical day on the shop floor. And then we have administrators like me who are here to make sure all of that's running smoothly, using IT systems and using software. What's exciting to you about a job in clean energy? I'm very excited to be working here in the 2020s, which is a revolutionary time in transportation and sustainable transportation. We're seeing technology change very quickly when it comes to vehicles and equipment. It's exciting for me to see these changes happening and to be a part of it, and for Madison to be leading the way, not only for the United States of America, but for the world in this area. So I think something special is going on. I'm glad that my team and I get to be a part of it. What kind of education is needed for a job in this field? I don't believe uh, any specific degree is as important as a lifelong curiosity and ability to learn on the job. So a lot of my staff here didn't go to college, actually. Most of them went to technical college, which is the path a lot of mechanics take. And most fleet managers are former mechanics. So. I would definitely recommend technical college to any folks out there that are interested in the mechanical field. What are three skills that are necessary for a career in clean energy? I think a really important skill which is needed in this program is just being a people person, being able to talk to people because you have to be able to work with your coworkers, be like, hey, did I do this right? Or if somebody up the, the tech you're working with walks away, you have to be able to approach other people. Having an open mind is another important skill because you don't want to assume that you know everything or you know how to do this because 
more often than not, there's more than one way to do something. Or if, you're, if you think what you're doing is right and it's not, that can definitely be a problem. And a third skill would be problem solving, just the ability to take a look at what you're working on and see, okay, how am I going to approach this in the most efficient way? What classes should high school students think about taking now? Auto classes are a great one, woodshop classes, just a lot of high schools offer things in the trade and they have a lot of programs with that, so I think that's really good. But also just taking whatever you're interested in because becoming a well-rounded person supports you in whatever career field you want to go into. Why do you recommend that high school students get involved in a clean energy career? So I believe EVs will be growing by leaps and bounds. I think the gasoline engine is actually in trouble when it comes to light and medium duty vehicles. Five years from now, I believe we'll see a lot more of them on the road. Another thing that's important to know about my industry is a lot of people are retiring right now. A lot of folks are at the end of their careers, and what that means is there will be opportunities for hiring. What are your recommendations for high school students to get involved now? High school students have several things they can do to get involved in clean energy. One is to get an internship like the ones that we have here. I would encourage high school students to look at all the, the opportunities that are out there, not just government internships, but private sector, nonprofit, university, et cetera. There's a lot of opportunities when it comes to the economy and when it comes to the green economy as well. Are you interested in learning more about clean energy careers in Wisconsin? Take a look at the other videos in this series.